what's up everybody welcome back so here i have two cups of peas in the pot now for the recipe you can always use your favorite red peas all right so i'm using mine so i will leave all the ingredients in the description box so as i said before i have two cups of washed red peas now to the two cups of peas i'm going to add about two cups of water now what I will be doing is I'm just gonna add a small amount of water, add about yeah, about two cups at this moment. Then I'm gonna add some garlic and then I'm gonna add some salt and pimento seeds, right? Because you know you want your piece to cook it flavor. Now guys, I'm just gonna let the the piece come to a rapid boil and then I'm going to add my water. Now in Jamaica we sell a sink or peas, so once it starts boiling, I'm going to add maybe about four more cups of water, right? When you sink the peas, the peas will cook evenly. So, you know, some parts, if I don't sink the peas, then some parts will be softer than some, right? So, you want to ensure that you sink your peas. So, I'm adding about four cups of water, as I said before. Now, after I do so, I'm going to allow the peas to cook. Now, everybody peas cook differently. So, mine may cook faster than yours, or yours may cook faster than mine. But bear in mind that while you're cooking the peas, you're going to need to add more water. So, once I see the water reducing, the liquid reducing, and the peas is not fully cooked, you want to add more water. So, here I have my dry coconut no i'm not gonna be showing this step on camera so i'm gonna break it and then i'm going to cut it in small pieces and then i'm going to blend now if you want to go the real authentic way and grate your coconut then of course you could do that but for me that takes too long so i'm gonna use the blender method so at this point i blended my coconut now I am going to use a sieve to strain my juice, my coconut milk, sorry. So afterwards I will show you when I'm adding it to the pot. So at this point the peas is almost fully cooked. It's soft to the touch, but you guys you don't want to cook your peas too soft where it's mashed out in the pot, right? You want to cook it about 90% of the way. Then you're going to add a coconut milk and you add a seasoning so here i'm just adding some scallion some thyme my scotch bunny pepper now i am going to add two cups of my rich blended coconut milk also i'm gonna add some more garlic cloves and of course i like to crush my garlic cloves you know you release all that juices from the garlic also adding a little bit more salt I added a little salt in the beginning just to give the peas flavor while they cook but you know you still have to add more salt depending on your taste of course so if you don't need no more salt don't add it right so let's cover the pot let it come to a rapid boil and at that point the peas will be fully cooked so i boil mine for about 10 more minutes so at this point i am going to add my rice now you still want to taste it to see if it reaches your desired taste. If not, then you could always add more salt. So after cooking the peas, I had maybe about four cups of the peas water in the pot. And I added two cups of coconut milk. So in total, I had six cups of liquid. Now I'm adding six cups of rice. Now my ratio in which I put my rice is one cup of liquid or what one cup of water or any liquid to a cup of rice now if you cook your rice differently then you may adjust the liquid to your preference now I'm using parboil rice so you know you add your favorite rice of course so just give it a nice stir and when you add your rice you want to ensure that it is like one or one and a half inches above the rice so the level of the liquid should be one or one and a half inches above the rice so after i cover the pot for like maybe about 15 minutes most of the water dried out so i'm just gonna cover with foil 
so you know while it was cooking that 15 minutes you know it was partially cooked so at this point i'm just adding some foil paper i know you could always just cover the pot tightly and let it steam but i do like to add the foil now after the rice has been cooking for maybe about 20 more minutes i cook it on a very low flame so you know you want your rice to steam properly all right so this is how my rice look now guys you don't want to mix your rice until this point you're going to remove all your scotch bunny pepper and your scallion you know remove all of those seasoning then you want to gently mix your rice guys but to check if your rice is fully cooked you could just add put the place the fork in the middle of the pot if it has more liquid then you, know you want the rice to steam some more or if it tastes like a grain of the rice that is hard you could just add some more coconut milk or if you want to add some more water and you know you cover the pot again with the foil paper or just cover the pot with like a plastic wrap you could use some plastic or if you just want to use the pot cover but you have to use a sealed pot cover and you know let your rice steam right so I'm just removing all of my seasoning because you know they flavor the pot already flavor the rice already so I don't need them so I'm just mixing to combine the rice with the peas so I hope this video was useful if you have any questions you could always comment down below and I'll answer them thank you so much for watching bye guys